Hi everyone, welcome to my chemistry video again. Today we're going to be speaking about electrophilic addition reaction of alkenes, right? So alkenes can actually react with quite a number of reagents over here. Today we're going to be specifically looking at the reaction with steam as well as also with the bromine. So what happened is that, uh, as you can see here, the equation actually indicates that the alkene of ethene can actually react with steam to produce the alcohol. So how we're going to start off to draw out the mechanism is that uh, I would actually encourage you to actually draw out the alkene with a focus being on the carbon-carbon double bond. So as you all know that the uh, carbon here, as well as this carbon right over here, has a geometry of a trigonal planar, right? That's why um, the alkene molecule is actually drawn out as such. So once you've actually drawn, got your alkenes uh, drawn out, the next thing you should do is that draw out the uh, steam molecule, all right, right at the bottom over here, right, with a H that is actually located as closely as possible to the carbon-carbon double bond. So first things first, before we actually draw the mechanism, you need to actually remember to actually assign the delta positive and delta negative. This is actually one mark in examination. Make sure you have the delta positive and delta negative to be indicated. Next thing you should do is that we will start off the mechanism by having the electrons from the pi bond will actually be used to actually attack this particular hydrogen delta positive right over here. So remember, yeah, all right, these two electrons here in the pi bond will be used to actually attack this particular hydrogen, right, which is actually, you know, right over here, right? And what happened is that, as you know, hydrogen can only form one bond. So if this hydrogen is about to form a bond with one of this carbon, right, this oxygen to hydrogen bond needs to be broken and sacrificed. So what happened is that you're actually going to get another heterolytic fusion over here, whereby um, both electrons, right, from this OH bonds will be passed down to the oxygen. Right now, we're going to look at what is actually produced, all right? As the intermediate, you are actually expecting to get this carbocation. Now, carbocation is basically a species with the carbon with a positive charge. Now, as you can see here, initially, these two carbons actually share one electron to form the pi bond. However, during the mechanism, this two electron is basically being used to actually form this particular carbon to hydrogen bond. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, remember, yeah, this particular carbon to hydrogen bonds is actually formed as a result of you using this two electrons from the pi bond. So therefore, this carbon on the right now is short of one electron. That is why they are actually positively charged. So what happened next is that you are actually going to see your remaining part of the uh, molecule of the steam, right, which is basically the hydroxide ion, to come in to complete the reaction. So the hydroxide ion, right, being negatively charged with a lone pair of electron will be actually attacking the carbocation. As what you can see over here, right, this will eventually complete the reaction. As a result of it, you are actually seeing the ethanol produced on the right-hand side. So this is right, the uh, mechanism for electrophilic uh, addition reaction with a polar molecule, which is with the steam. Right? So we're going to move on quickly to look at another example here. This one is actually a reaction of alkene with a known polar molecule. In this case, I'm actually using bromine liquid. Uh, the resulting product, of course, you can see already, this is basically 1,2-dibromoethane uh, is actually produced. So you're actually producing halogenol alkanes. So uh, to start it off, uh, I would advise again the same thing. You actually draw out the molecule. Focus again is on the carbon-carbon double bond, right? Make sure you actually have the uh, structure to be drawn out like this based on the focus of the carbon-carbon double bond, right? Trigonal planar geometry as what I have actually shown up here. And then again, your bromine molecule will be written right at the bottom. So the thing about bromine here is that uh, they don't have a permanent delta positive and delta negative. Because as you know, bromine is actually a non-polar molecule. So how do they actually have the delta positive and delta negative? Now, this delta positive and delta negative over here has to be induced. It has to be induced. Because uh, what happened is that, right, uh, as the molecule of bromine approaches this alkene, remember alkene has pi bond and pi electron cloud is actually concentrated above and below the plane of the nuclei. 
right? Right, remember, right? The pi electron curve is located above and below the plane of nuclei. So when uh, this bromine molecule, which is non-polar, uh, approaching the area which is rich in electron, which is the pi electron cloud, it's actually going to cause the electrons from the bromine closest to it to be pushed away. All right, so when the electrons are actually being pushed away, the bromine right at the bottom over here will actually have the delta negative uh, dipole, and the bromine that's actually located closest to the pi bond will have the delta positive uh, dipole. Right, so uh, this is basically remember um, um, induced dipoles that is actually produced as a result of the non polar bromine approaching the carbon carbon double bond. So once you have actually um, done this, you can actually start off the mechanism. Same like what you see just now, right? First things first, your pi bond, right? Two electrons on the pi bond will actually be used to actually attack this particular bromine with the delta positive. And as you know, this bromine is about to now going to be bond to one of this carbon now. So therefore, this uh, bond of bromine to bromine will have to be broken heterolytically, right? Both electrons pass down to the bromine with the delta negative. Next, what you're going to be seeing is that you're going to see yep, a carbocation produced again, right? Like just we, what we've seen just now as well. So the carbon on the right over here is basically positively charged because they are actually short of one electron because its electron is basically uh, used up to form this particular carbon to bromine bond. Right, then next what happened is that to complete the reaction, remember you have the bromide ion from before just now, the bromide ion will now attack the carbocation, and then that's basically the end of it. You are actually going to get the product, which is 1,2-dibromoethane. So that's about it, guys. This is electrophilic addition reaction mechanism of alkenes with steam, and also this one with a bromine. All right, so if you want to see more of this content, please remember to give it a like and also you are free to share this video to your friends right so don't forget to subscribe as well thank you see you in the next one goodbye